Right. Dwight in front, uh, congratulations on the victory. Uh, initial Thank thoughts you. after a performance like that? Um, I'm happy I, I, you know, I won and I was able to fight through the whole, everything. But man, I promised the fans like a blockbuster event. I didn't give them a finish, man. Like it was always right there, and I didn't get the finish. I'm very disappointed in myself right now. I can't, I can't even pretend. Like I'm just very happy that I was able to push through the whole thing. Well, I was going to ask, well, what did you think of the fans being back? A lot of them maybe weren't on your side at the end. Was that, was that disappointing at all or anything? I'm just glad they were here. Honestly, if the fans weren't here, I might have lost that fight. Because, like, I, keeping it real, you know, uh, I, I got caught in a guilty in the end, and I heard the fans screaming, and that screaming, like, uh, kept me, like, aware of what was going on. Like, the, the sound sort of down, and I was like, oh, man, what's going on? <laughs> you know? But then they ran back up. So I'm very happy they were here, uh, even, even if they didn't agree with me at the end. It's just the fact that the experience was there is what makes it fun, you know? Oh, well, tell me about that, Gaitin. How tight was that? Were you close to going out at all? Uh, I, I have to say uh, I was pretty close because the, the down, man. Like, the sound went down in the crowd, you know? And uh, another thing, too, you know, I tried to count my way out of it. Like, when I, when I get caught in a choke, I know I could hold my breath for, like, 30, 40 seconds, no problem. But I was counting, and I was trying to get out, and I was like, oh, no, danger, 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 you know? But uh, I was able to pull out, and the fans definitely helped me through with that. <laughs> Uh, Scorecards, were you confident that you had done enough to pull it out at the end? Yeah, I, I felt that I was confident about it because I saw myself knocking him like against the cage and dropping him and him wobbling a couple times. So I was like, okay, that has to count for something, you know? Mm -hmm. Like he was able to take me down at the very end of the first round and then he got me able to go and I think in the second or third round, like a full takedown. But, you know, we trying to knock him out. Like I never stopped trying to knock this guy out through the whole fight. So I, I'm glad that that came through, you yeah? know? Uh, at the weigh-ins, was that a little gamesmanship, just kind of sizing him up like that? kind of caught everyone off guard for a bit. Uh, well, the thing about it is, uh, the weigh-ins for me uh, is a time for me to get measurements on my opponent. Because a lot of the online measurements aren't right. So I, it said the mine were the same. I knew his arms weren't as long as mine. And I needed to get him to open up so that I could see his body properly. It sounds really weird to say, you know, but I needed it. So I did what I had to do. And, uh, it, you know, I put on a show for the fans. And, it, you know, it worked. <laughs> Uh, and then when do you want to get back in there? Is there a specific name you would like to face next? There's no specific name. Uh, my, my goal is to get into you know, the tops of the ranks. You know, like I, I want to get there, and once I get there, believe you me, I'm going to be calling people out to fight, for sure. But right now, it doesn't even make sense. You know? like, if I was in the top 10 or 15, I wouldn't fight a guy that was unranked for no reason, just because, you know, unless I really want to do it, then if that's the case, hey, I'm here. You know? But other than that, uh, I'm going to try to heal up a little bit. I hurt my leg around, so I want to make sure that you know, I'm good and get back in here as soon as possible and get a finish, man. I need a finish. <laughs> so that, that's the main goal right now. Hey, Dwight over here. On oh, your hey, how you doing? Oh, oh sorry. How you <laughs> You're doing? good, man. Uh, it's all good. Dwight, we talked about it on Wednesday, you know, watching that film. How did he compare inside the cage to what you felt like you had seen on TV? Uh, he's definitely better. I mean, all the film is, is like two years old. But what was good that he did was he was able to avoid getting knocked out. That's a great, that's a great uh, skill to have. You know, um, he, he moved out of the way to punches and was able to turn his body and get free. In his film, he wasn't able to do that all the time. He just kept distance and moved straight back. Tonight, he moved back and diagonally in, in, in a, a few steps. So that kept him very safe. And that was the biggest surprise. Uh, his defense was just about what I expected, but his footwork was better than I expected. How did his strength and power feel in there? Because obviously he's a guy who built a little different for the weight class. What did you think of his strength in the cage? No, nah, I mean, I've been Phil Davis and, I mean, I, I grappled with DC for years. Like, you know, like I'm accustomed to getting uh, big, strong guys trying to push me over and stuff. But the thing about it is uh, I know that I know good technique and defense, and most people think I don't know how to wrestle or do jiu-jitsu, so it always works in my favor. They, like, jump on the first mistake they think I made, and I'm able to get free. Like, uh, in this fight, he tried... Uh, Von Flumey, you know, he thought I was gonna make the mistake of wrapping his head like, like I don't know how to do jiu-jitsu. So I just went with it, then I pushed him over and got up because, you know, he underestimated me. So.